Hello, it's me, and I got this really big box from Russia. So let's see what's in this. Now, I ordered this a while ago. This did take a little while to come back, but it's well worth the wait, I'm sure, because it's a chance to expand the collection. So let's see what came from Russia. This came from actually Evgeny Grigoryev's uh, shop. I'll have a link to that. Uh, but he's got himself a 3D printer with the rights to sell a lot of really fascinating puzzles. So I got a couple, which I couldn't resist, so let's see what we've got. Here's his information, upside down, might look better like this. So these are puzzles by him. So there's so many opportunities to get a lot of fascinating puzzles. So we'll start off, okay. We'll start off with this big guy over here. So what, what do we have here? What is this? Well, it's got a nice little symmetric shape. Packaged really nice, having a hard time getting it out here. Tape well. It's amazing, although there's a couple puzzles in here, it's a very lightweight package. Okay, I'm going to have to get through this. There we go. From one package to another. So this handsome devil, whoa, it's a big puzzle, is called the Master Rua. And this is a laser 3D printed. So this is a master version of the Rua puzzle, which is this guy over here. And um, these are uh, face-turning rhombic dodecahedrons, which aren't exactly platonic solids, I like the octahedrons, but as you can see, it makes a turn and then it can jumble by finishing a turn like this. So in that way, it's very similar to uh, an edge turner, to a curvy copter. And the, the solve is very similar to that. This might even be thought of as a shape variation of this, but this is the master version. Um, it's funny because it's even more lightweight than this. This is um, printed by, I think, FDM printing. But this is... Uh, very lightweight, and um, it's the master version of this. So in many ways, it's almost like a mass, uh, master curvy copter. But you get all these extra pieces. So let's look at some of the homologies that we have here. So we've got these two, we've got these corners here, we've got these two guys over here. We've created some centers. The equivalent to these two pieces is this and this, but we've got some extra pieces along here. So let's see how this moves. We move the top part here. And do I jumble? Well, no reason why I think I shouldn't. And uh, yes, I seamlessly jumble on both axes. So yeah, this is uh, this is pretty amazing. Uh, let's see what happens if I take this up to here. And can I continue? Yeah. Well, no. Actually, the problem with jumbling is I I bandage it there, but I can move it here. I can move this layer as well. So this promises to be a very complicated kind of a solve, I think. But it's 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 really very, very well done. This was uh, designed by uh, Mohammed Badir. I've got a couple of his puzzles, and he is a really, really excellent designer. Uh, but this this really feels very, very playable. It's a very playable puzzle. I like the classic shape of it. And I can see that I, I'm going to have hours and hours of fun with this. Um, again, very stable puzzle. Oh, it looks like I'm... Oh, I thought it was bandaged on one side. So there it is. This is the master version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to correlate this with my with curvy copter and a master curvy copter, which I don't know if I have or not. It might be buried in the collection there somewhere. Okay, so a fitting... Addition, a much larger puzzle, but this is the Master Rua, which is a face-turning octahedron. So what else do we have as I dig my way through here? Okay, a little bit of a smaller puzzle. We see that there still is a similar shape. That's the thing about these collections, is the more brilliant designers that they have, the more they make variations that I just can't resist. This is my addiction. I guess I can think of worse things to be addicted to. Maybe. 
Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is another face-turning rhombic dodecahedron. You see it's got the same structure as the Rua cube, but it's a, it's a circle version. So I can see that this circle is, um, is not stationary. This circle is stationary. That's interesting. And this circle is not stationary. So there's actually different versions of it. Now, i got to be honest with you, I kind of prefer them all stationary. Um, I don't get too much out of having it variated like that. Um, but let's see. What else we have? Okay, so this is stationary. So I think they were trying to do maybe a planetary version, but uh, and this is not stationary over here. I'm going to see if there's a way to make them all stationary. Just some of them are. Like I say, I've, I've not gotten a big kick out of the planetary versions of this because the puzzles look the same, and I'd rather have... Uh, the, the solve is a challenge, yeah, but I'd, I'd rather have just sort of a classic puzzle here. So I'm going to see about that. But anyway, this is, um, I guess, a simpler version of this guy that I have, which is the master version. Now, this one I like because all of the circles are stationary, I believe. And the thing about the stationary version of the circle puzzles is it's like it's two puzzles in one. So bring this back here. So you can see a homology between this and the master version. And uh, this and the uh, non-master version. Although this is one, two layers here. So this isn't really a master version of that. But I can kind of study and see how they're the same and how they're different. Does it jumble? Oh, well, let's see. I think that probably should, being a face-turning puzzle. Yeah, okay. There we go. So yeah, we've, we've got some jumble action going on here. Now, this is stationary over, stationary over here. Now, it's worth it to me to try to find puzzles where... All of these centers are stationary. If I find that, I might put this up for sale. So the red one is stationary. The white one is not. The blue one is not. So could it be that there's only two that's stationary? Nope. This is also stationary. And this one is not. So these two are stationary. This one is not. This one is not. Yeah, so to me, it just um, kind of makes the solve a little more cumbersome. And although it might be more of a challenge, I'm going more by the structure of the puzzle. So we'll see about this guy. And let's see what else. Oh, there's more. So much more. Okay, so here we have a cubic puzzle. Now, Believe it or not, what all these puzzles have in common is, aside from being a rhombic, face-turning rhombic dodecahedrons, I said that they all have very similar similarities to copters. So here we have this guy here. Okay, very nice. So this is a basically a copter puzzle here, like a helicopter cube. It's got a little structure of a curvy copter. Movement's very good. We can do our jumbling, I'm sure, here. See how well this moves. There we go. Moves very well. Very, very well. Now, obviously there's some other way that this guy moves. And uh, is this is this a master version of it? Well, I've got some extra pieces here. Oh, there it is. So this is a two by two. So this is a combination of a two by two and a curvy copter. And after I do two by two moves, this moves here as well. Wow. All the movements are very, very uh, smooth. So I can tell that he takes great pride in how he designs these puzzles. Now, is this a Kirby Copter Plus? Now, let's see. Wow. i got to be careful about some of the movements, I think. But now let's turn this over here. Okay, now what makes what would make this a Kirby Copter Plus is if I turn this here, I can do extra moves.
move this here and yeah I do believe that if I can move this then it's a curvy copter plus which I think it is which is yeah why I can do this so basically it takes some of the jumbling out of it so this is a combination of a curvy copter plus and a 2x2 two two. can I do two yeah I could try to do 2x2 two two, but I might be doing some illegal moves here So what's appealing about this is this fits with this guy over here too. So this is a 2x2 two two Kirby Copter Plus Hybrid. And this is a Skube. So you can see that we've got Kirby Copter Plus moves over here. And in addition to that, we have Skube moves. So this is a Skube curvy copter. So if you like different puzzles of different sorts, scubes and edge turners, then that's where this that's where these guys come in. So uh, what I like about it is that although there's similar kinds of puzzles, you can see they're different enough to where it really still holds the appeal. Um, I believe that's all that I ordered, but I think I see something else in here. And one thing I love is surprise puzzles. Okay, so who is this handsome devil? I don't know. Uh, this is very exciting because this is like a bonus. Now, it took a while for the order to come through and he was very apologetic. He didn't need to be. I'm generally in no hurry for these things to get done. But I think he said he was going to add another puzzle, which is very nice of him. Not necessary, but always appreciated. And uh, I really have no idea what this is going to be. Okay, ah, so it's, um, it's one of those Pyraminx pyramidal puzzles that are more like cuboids. Pyraminx Cuboids. I'll have to look up to see exactly what this is. Uh, wow. Who are you? So this turns very nice over here. And this turns very nice over here. So it's like a perimino, which is a domino. And now we turn over here too. Very interesting. It's like a cuboid. Now how, how else does this turn? This turns like so... And I'm looking to see. So I think that's how this... All right, very cool. So it's like a, a domino in pyramid form, in pyramid form. So again, this was a bonus puzzle. Are there other types of motions with this? I don't think so. So this will be a fun little solve over here. Uh, so to that, I say thank you. I actually did not anticipate this. I certainly appreciate it. Um, so these are the new puzzles here that we got. But in terms of looking at how it fits with the collection, I've got these two over here, which are combination edge, um, yeah, edge turners. And then I've got the various Ruas, which is the Rua cube or face turning rhombodotahedron, the master version. This one is a, this one is a great one. Really, really well put together. And then I've got the circle versions over here. So it's a cute puzzle. Now I'm going to see if I can actually obtain one where all the circles are stationary. Uh, because like I say, that's really the preference that I have with puzzles like this. Uh, so go ahead and check out his shop. Some really great puzzles, very affordable prices. And I very much appreciate the bonus puzzle. Absolutely. So, thanks for watching.